We know Prince Wada wants the shatter. He's going to be looking for it through the car. He's going to find three, and that's instantly going to flip this on its head. And with less than a minute left to go. here for the Sinclair squad and we see Kale picking that Symmetra up and it's going to instantly allow them to teleport to this uh, this capture point but Imp does get picked off relatively quickly. Fragnar going to find him with the orb available in the midst of things however. Going to think, make things rather messy trying to get himself a flank and in fact him alongside Prince Wada are going to get the complete wipe here and Saints are going to start things off nicely taking care of this first capture point. We do have the Sarvan New Hampshire squad looking to get pushed in right now. That is going to be the Shatter. Oh, God. Bit of an awkward angle here for myself, but not awkward at all for Prince Wada, as that is going to be a happy birthday to himself as well for it with his life. And it is not going to matter. The Saints cleaning things up nice and quickly. Fragnar, the only one really anywhere near this point. Or, yes, now he's the only one anywhere near this point. As a siren on the side of Southern New Hampshire were not, or was not able to make any sort of contact. Saints are going to start off very strongly here, getting themselves a 100 to 0 on the first portion of Lijong Tower. And Francois is here to try and contest it, but he is going to get stunned up here, <laughs> nearly going down. It's going to be the coalescence coming out here from Fragnar, charging on through Rhino, going to win the tank battle, and it looks like Southern New Hampshire. Uh, University should be able to clean this one up unless Commanda and Imp alongside Bailable can pull off a miracle. Imp does go down pretty quickly here. Bailable trying to dip and dodge as much as possible, but he's run out of reinforcements. He's going to be able to hang on for just a second. And Saints do hit 99%. Well, that did shut it down. We're going to see the Pulse Bomb come out again. He is going to get not only the Junk Rat, but his Rip Tire as well. So that is going to be the big ultimate coming out and wasted by Osiren, and the rest of the squad here for the Saints are going to charge on through. We see Bailable just absolutely melting through everybody. That was absolutely huge. This is going to get flipped on over. Is anybody going to be able to contest? Emergency Wrecking Ball coming through. Not going to contact the point in time. St. Clair going to find themselves the win here in game number one. Starting this best, off, best of three off right with a very, very convincing 2-0 of the points or one of the ticks here in this point where on the world of the saints here there we go siren is going to end up going down does trade his life though one for one and they're going to slowly try to get here of course on the defensive side of things you have to run a lot further to get back into the game if you die but thankfully for the side of st Clair, they have been able to get enough of a group of side to keep everybody here kale with one more shot going to finish off rhino so once you make it to like one third two thirds those uh, your progress does stick around but unfortunately there for the side of uh, Southern New Hampshire. Not quite finding it just this time. Desi goes down. Huge shot there from Kale. Going to finish the job there. And with them being down, we're going to have the kiss of death coming out here once again. As that dragon's going to fly through absolutely everybody. But considering it flew through everybody, Kale only found the one elimination there. Going to pop it up to try and negate as much damage as possible. Available does find... A, a kill and he's gonna find actually three of them now after getting that dead eye this is gonna get completely flipped again a bit of a misplay on the side of uh southern new hampshire and that is going to absolutely cost them here as the saints are going to completely full hold the southern new hampshire squad here on hollywood nice and quick available gonna find himself one kill finds himself another now can he find Pepto? He's going to find Pepto right before he goes down. Saints get a full team wipe here, and they're going to be very, very close. It's, someone has to touch, but they're just completely cleaning house on the point. Nobody on the side of Southern New Hampshire is going to even come close to stopping this. And that is going to be the clean sweep here for St. Clair successfully finding himself 2-0 here in this NECC matchup. Here with that coalescence, give him the okay to basically charge on through. Where in the world is everybody? We hear of Gravitons. We have a big mess here. Commander or not, Fragnar actually doing huge healing to his team considering the clumped up nature. And Desi, this time he's not going to make any mistake. He's going to hit that, uh, that Dragon Strike right when he needs to. No delay this time, right on time. So huge, huge push coming here for Southern New Hampshire University. Graviton going through, where is the dragon? There it comes, kiss of death coming out here once again from Kale, gonna melt through this Southern New Hampshire squad and at least get them off the cart for just a second. 
And it's going to be Imp, actually, with the sneaky little boop on to, uh, to Desi. And Fragnar is just like, never mind. I'm going to hop off, uh, eliminate myself, and uh, go rejoin my team. Probably wise. Oh, sneaky little pick actually come out here from Kale. Nice shot. Get himself the ulti. But where in the world is Kale? That's going to be the big thing, especially if they clump him up like this. Launch the dragon right on through, and everybody gets absolutely melted. They try to answer with a dragon strike for themselves, too, and it got basically one, if anything. It only managed to be the takedown onto Commanda. Lessons, and of course, the Coalescence does not care about your shield. It'll go right through. They're going to try and trade this out here with the Graviton. Going to hold them all into place and let Prince Wada do the damage here. With that hammer, of course, doing a ton and ton of damage. Commanda has returned with the Coalescence. That's a Dragon Strike as well to get them off the point. And that's going to be maybe enough here. Prince Wada, that's just a warning shot. Trying to get a Shatter onto a Tracer is absolutely brutal. But Kale's going to find the finishing blow. Of course, that Zarya does end up blocking the higher charge that Laser Beam will do. As we do ride along with the fight at hand. Rhino, his shield was extremely low, but Bailable going to find the first pick onto Desi. He does end up losing that sniper battle. Bailable's still all the way over here. Meanwhile, the rest of the Saints taking a different angle of approach. They're going to try and uh, run aside, but that means they're just going to run right. It's available. That's three going into his pocket nice and quickly in just a moment or two. We see a lot of damage coming out here for Kale, and unfortunately there for Rhino, his charge was just a little bit ill-advised, and that's going to be the double here for Kale. Nice shots coming out, getting the quick double. They're going to probably be able to get this right around the corner before they even... Well, actually, it's so far away, but rather for the side of... Uh, Southern New Hampshire, they do have Lucio there. If Bailable's going to try and find the snipe, is going to eventually take him down. So they have this right around the corner. Emergency Wrecking Ball coming out once again here for Rhino. It's going to be the Graviton. Where in the world is it? They're going to try and Dragon Strike combo for themselves. It's going to melt away the Saints, which, fair enough, of course, very strong combo as Desi finds himself a triple, and he's going to try and tear through the rest of this Sinclair squad. Have multiple things available. They're going to just fire everything. Apostle going to find himself a double. Kale's got the dragon coming in late as well, and it's going to pick up Pepto. The dragon's to try and answer here from Desi, basically from the spawn room. Not going to find any targets. Desi goes down. There's a lot of deaths here on the side of Southern New Hampshire, and Saints are in position and are, in fact, going to secure the 3-0 here in this series. Good games all around. Sorry.